Hey guys, Grassman here. I just opened, well, my mum opened four void shards. Um, so my mum is the luckiest person on earth. I have her open all of my shards for me. Whenever, and I only open them in like two times. So you know, naturally, she got me my, um... I'm just, don't, just don't look yet, because I'm gonna show you what I got. So she's the one who got me the... I believe she got me the Ghostborn. She definitely got me Seer. Um, she got me Duchess, uh, she got me Deacon, I believe she got me my second Altan, she got me Fenchy, this is not the one from the fusion, ran different pulled Fenchy, she got me Mordecai, you're seeing how she's got me like old hermit Yorg. She got me Armina. Ar Armina. Yeah. So you can see how, like, why I let her open everything. She's God. But four void shards. Four void shard shards. Surely nothing can come out of this. When you actually do the calculation, it comes out to the chance of getting of getting um... The chance of getting one or more legendaries is for four for four void shards. The chance of getting one or more legendaries is about three point nine, three point nine four maybe about that. Um, she somehow manages to maybe like three point nine five. So you know, almost impossible. Pretty much just four percent. So, you know, and then, you know, naturally I pull one, so it, I'm useless. I can't do, I can't pull anything. So, you know, she pulls one, rare. She pulls a second, rare. I pull one, rare. So we've got one left. 16% chance of an epic. And you know what we got? You know which void epic we got? You can probably see it in Barbarians. Wasn't a void epic. I don't know how. Also, interesting note, I have maybe seven legendaries in this game, and three of them are in this one area. Three of them are barbarians. So, um, hi, barbarian horde. Barbarian, uh, crypt. I remember when I first started, I first started doing barbarian crypt, I was, like, doing, I was running a hill nomad with a rage monger on level 30, and an anointed on, like, level, levels 40 or something. I've now got Altan. Sil, Urs Ursuga, Ursuga, Armina, and I should probably build my High Katoon. I don't think there's anyone else I need to run. Got like another scrapper. Maybe apparently that's my first one. So Ursuga Warcaller doesn't actually say her full name. So A1. Attack one enemy when fully booked has a 60% chance of placing a block active skills debuff. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Um, A2. On a 3 turn cooldown, attack all enemies places a 30% decrease crit damage debuff and a 50% decrease attack debuff for 2 turns on, on targets whose attack is higher than their defense. And places a 30% decrease speed debuff and a 60% decrease defense debuff for 2 turns on targets whose attack is equal to or lower than their defense. So tanks get speed and decrease decre defense decreased. Um, nukers get attack and crit damage decreased. Bottoms up. Every three turns, so three turn cooldown, places a 50% ally protection buff on allies except as champions for three turns, and a 25% strength buff on all, all, all champions except, um, on, on this champion for three turns. So she'll ignore 25% of the damage straight up, and she'll also absorb half the damage from all the, all allies. So I believe that still makes her... So that makes them her ignore like so she takes half of their damage and ignores a quarter of it. So it's like so it's like ignoring an eighth of the other of the other of my allies' things and ignoring a quarter of her damage. And then she's absorbing three quarters. And she's a massive tank. That's like the whole that's the whole point of her. Um decrease the damage all allies receive from critical hits by thirty percent. This champion will receive that damage instead. Again, she's a tank. And Increase ally HP in all battles by 33%. Um, so level 60 
full, fully ascended, she has a natural 23,000 HP. Um, comparing to other notable crazy high HP ones, I believe Mountain King? No, Mountain King's a nuker. No, wait, no, Mount, Mountain King's right. 31,000 HP. So Mountain King has 31,000 HP. Um, I believe he is like the highest HP of anyone. She's not that bad. She's 23,000. 23,460. Um, I know I can compare that to Miscreate a Monster for a good... Approximation. He's got 20... He's got about 23. So she's like... Better than Miscreate Monster. She's like... On par with Miscreate a Monster. They're actually quite similar. Um, his A1 has a stun. Hers has block active skills. His A2 has a... Shield and stun. This one is decrease crit damage, attack, defense, and speed. Um, A3 is this. His is a passive fear. Hers is a passive decrease. Hers is a passive absor absorb critical damage. And doesn't he like? Doesn't he have a? He has increased ally HP in arena battles by thirty three percent. So it's almost the same aura as well. So she's actually very comparable to Miscreate a Monster. Um, with the notable exception that instead of 13,000 people rating of her, um, she's got 606. It's going to be 607. But universally she's liked. 5, 4, 9, 4, 8, 4, 8, 4, 9, 4, 9, 4, 9, 4, 2. We're clan boss. Makes sense. 4, 8, 4, 1... Uh, four, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight. So the worst thing is Fire Knight, and she has no multi-hits in her kit. And she's somehow still a four in Fire Knight. Which, granted, she probably shouldn't be, because she has no multi-hitting. But, massive tank. Um, I, yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna have to build her. As always, let's do a quick test, because I always do that. Set this to... set it straight to hard. Nope, that's a bad idea. Normal stage one. Um, by... It should be by rank. Where is she? There she is. I'll remove her from the pit. I had her in, in there temporarily. I need, like, another, like, weak guy to throw in here, too. Uh, this guy. I haven't tested him yet, either. So I did the fusion just for him. He's the only one I got out of that, and I have, like, two extras of the rares. But I did the... I went specifically for Gory, and that's it. Okay, don't auto. So, 45% chance... It just killed him. Neat. What do you know? He had no health and he died. So this is barrel through. Three and four thousand damage, and she's level one. And then protection and strengthen. So he's got extra shift is under freeze, it heals him by ten percent of damage inflicted. Just seventy five percent chance of freeze for one turn. Uh we ignore increased defense and shield. We'll also ignore half the target's defense if they're under freeze. Um, so, defense in so ignore increased defense and shield anyways, but also half of defense if they're under freeze. Um, and counterattack. And increased attack for two turns if it kills them. Okay, let's go to a harder level. I got six points somehow. Let's go straight up to Sewers. Sewers, stage 7. Uh, recently used first. And then my rank. Is there anyone else I have to I have like, not tested yet? I got Sepulchre like the other... I don't know when I got her. I think that... I think I was... Well, I, 
think I pulled a couple of sacreds. Was there a two S? I don't know how when I got Sepulcher. I also have Drake here. Let's try all of them, and then I'll probably have to like go straight to heart or something because they're just gonna win. We'll see. Barrel through, destroy. It's just like crazy, my mum's luck though. I probably could save that. Digger's attack. Shield and block debuffs. I'm pretty, I think she has some ability I just haven't unlocked yet. Next turn if the card's killed. Uh, always critical if less than 3% HP. 50% decrease accuracy debuff on allies. Except the target for two turns. If the attack's critical. Hmm. Just. Boop. There we go. There goes half his health. Um, can't really freeze him, can I? Yeah, I'm gonna go, like, straight up to a... Am I just able to go, like, straight to a harder difficulty? Croak Castle. Hard. Stage 1. Uh, recently used first. You, you... So barrel through first, and then freeze the second round, and then figure out what to do with third round. The moon is so bright today. It's like, it's, I, I, I should like, I'm like, it's, I'm recording this at midnight. It's, it's 13 minutes past midnight. It was midnight when I started this video. Um, the, it's a full moon out tonight. It is like, so bright. It's like, like imagine if the sun was reflecting off something. Like, does, does that make any sense? I'm gonna turn off the sun so you can hear me better. Does that make any sense? If, like, the sun was reflecting off... I know this sounds, like, incredibly stupid. If the sun was reflecting off something. You know, like, if the sun was... If, if like... You know, like, if, if if the moon was a big mirror, you know? Like, it's, like, so bright. But, you know, naturally, the moon generates its own light. It's cold light, you know? It's, it's just basic... It's basic science, guys. But it's it's so... It's bright as if the sun... If, as if the sun were... It's, like, if, as if it were a mini sun. As if the sun were reflecting off of it. You can even see the dark spots, like, you know, the parts where the lizardmen are living, those dark, dark continent spots where the lizardmen are living, you know? It, it's just basic science, guys. <laughs> uh, sad part is no one is ever going to see me. If you are listening to this, congratulations. You are one of possibly the only people who will ever hear me see the, speak these words. No one is watching this video, and no one is watching it to this point. I guarantee you that. In the future, there will be, like, the one person who watched all of my videos through or something. And to that person, I say, hello. That's all I have to say. That's barrel through. Pretty good. Weaken him. Oh, he's just dead now. Ah, that was not the intention. I swear, sir, it was unintentional homicide. I only meant to mortally wound him. I don't know, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. That probably means I meant to kill him, but... To be fair, I did. Do that. Uh, block those. Crit. Nope. Decrease accuracy doesn't matter. I have, I have block debuffs. Random freezes. Only one. Wow. I'm amazing, guys. Jump. 
Oh, I didn't actually kill him there. No, he's dead. Yeah, Drake's lame anyway. She's definitely very good though with that like crazy like AOE thing. So there's block active skills. So that just means so unless, if it's a passive skill, it still happens. But if it's an active skill, he can't use it. Because he didn't try and use his like demoralizing display or whatever it was. I should have used that on the other one. It was weaker. Could have possibly killed him. Thing is, I know here I'm just gonna like. So the one resisted. So this one guy ha has higher decre has higher um, defense, and the other ones have higher attack because they're they had the crit rate and stuff. I'm sure that had a use. Now she gets more hits and almost dies more. Nope. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, there we go. So yeah, she's, I don't know, like, super well where she's useful. Um, she's definitely going to be useful Faction Wars. Um, although for my Faction Wars, I think that's literally the crypt that was open yesterday. Open in four days. Um, yeah, I think it was Barbarians that was, no, Barbarians were open a couple days ago, but. For Barbarians, the current team I'm using is, like, High Katoon. It's like, uh, what is it, Altan, High Katoon. Still of the Drakes. I think I think I'm still using Ragemonger. And I don't know who my other one is, Armina. So instead of Ragemonger, I'll put him in and I'll actually have a really good team for like finishing it off once I actually build those champions. So yeah, that was just it, it's just crazy lucky I actually pulled her. Or my mom pulled her. But my mom is the luckiest person in the world. That's insanely that's like crazy. It's also crazy that I'm, like, okay, let's actually look at this. How many, so first off, number of legendaries I have. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got two in the top row, uh, three in the row below that, so it's five, and then six, seven, eight. So I have eight there, and then I have one in the vault, who's the other all ten. So I've got nine legendaries. Two of them are all tens. Three of them. Well, four of them. Two are all tens. Um, so only only not only eight are unique. Uh, yeah, four, three, four, three, one. So eight are unique because two are all tens. Of the eight unique ones, three of them are all barbarians, and the other non-unique ones also a barbarian. So four of nine are barbarians. Um, two of them were... Two of the non-barbarians were... No, one of the non-barbarians was free. One of them is a crazy void legendary pull. One of them was a crazy... I think it was a sacred pull that got me Duchess. Um, and one was a fusion. So... I mean, like, I don't know what what, <laughs> what am I talking about? I th let's let's talk about where I got all my legendaries, eh? <laughs> um, that is like crazy though that I got I got the void legendary like that, or my mom got it, and that it's again for barbarians. Like, Barbarians only even have, like, three Void Legendaries. I think there's another one that has, like, I think there's another faction that has four. I wasn't really expecting her. As soon, when I saw the Legendary, I was like, oh, what's this gonna be? Venus? I don't know what the Void Legendaries are! So I had no idea what it would be! Just roll the dice, let's see what happens. The only one I knew of was Venus, and then the big frame came out, and I was like, oh my god, is it actually Venus? So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. That was just, wanted to make this video, because that was crazy, but, hope you enjoyed. Is there anyone here? Comment, no one's here if you're here. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.